today I'm going to be doing a review of the Miko Grand chessboard that looks like this. It's an AI chessboard where you can play against yourself on it. The pieces move on their own. It's pretty cool. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first off, what it comes with. So we will receive this Miko chessboard in the mail and it'll be in a huge box. And in that box you'll come with some instructions, chess pieces, an outlet to plug it into, and lastly, this little piece will be screwed onto the bottom of the board on the back, and once you receive it, you'll have to unscrew it. This keeps the magnetic part inside of it from shifting during shipping so that it stays safer. And then once you're planning to move it again, like if you are going on a trip or something and you want to bring this with, you would uh, put this back into the board and that would keep it safe while you're moving it. So then the first thing you're going to do once you receive this board is you're actually going to download an app called Miko Chess and there's a QR code on the back of this that you can scan to get it. So then I also plugged in my board and turned on the power outlet and so then once you do that you can connect your board to Bluetooth and usually takes about a second. And they have little cute sayings on it like, our queen is on a royal mission. Once it beeps like that, that means that it was connected to the board. You can see the board set up with all the pieces. And the board comes with two extra queens in case you promote, which is really nice. And additionally, the board is pretty cool because when a piece is taken, uh, there's a spot on the side to put your pieces. And so at the end of the game, you can actually ask the AI to reset your board which is pretty cool so you don't have to go through all that yourself and there's a way to place them on the board properly um, and it's talked about in the instructions so if you take one of their dark colored pieces you would put it on your side and you would start like with the first pawn the first pawn goes here, the second pawn goes here and then it goes up and, up and, up and so forth so like your first knight would go here, your first bishop here and such alright so if you want to start the game you can Go to the app and click play with AI. After you do that, you just click like Miko AI. You can also play with the Lee Chess bots. I haven't set mine up to be able to do that, but that is also an option if you use Lee Chess. So then you can click what color you want to play as, and I'm going to play as white. And then you can do the timer clock, and you can do that per move or per game. And you can set the time for as long as you want. Um, I'm just doing 60 minutes. And there's an adaptive or a manual choice. So the adaptive AI will adjust to your strength throughout the game. So it'll try and gauge how good or bad you are. Versus manual, if you know your rating, you can actually just set the ELO yourself. So I'm just setting mine to 1200. And I'm going to play a game. So since I'm white, I'll start. And to move the piece, I have to click the piece I'm on and then click the piece I want to move to and then I can check the app to see if it registered it interestingly it has not registered my move okay so that is a bug that I run into sometimes where it thinks I set up the board incorrectly even though I did not uh, obviously white is always on 1A and black is always on 1, 8 so I'm not sure what that is about but I do get that issue sometimes and then I just have to kind of click around on the app to get it to fix so then they move their knight to c6 and I'm gonna move my knight to f3 and again you just click where you were and then you click the next one um, and then that time it registered the move perfectly so then now I'm going to show you how to take a piece. If you want to take, you're going to click this and then click where that piece was and then move it over to the side. But they moved their pawn up a little bit and I'm actually just going to end the game here and show you that the board can reset its pieces. So I'm actually going to end this game, resign. And so, yeah, once you resign, it makes that beeping noise and it told me I lost and there's even an option to analyze the game 
reset the pieces and rematch. So I'm going to reset the chess pieces and show you how that works. So you can see it moving, it's pretty cool. And then see I have that, oh, my cat. <laughs> and then see I have this pawn over here that it should register. Okay, I must have put it on the wrong spot. I think it actually, you put it on the right hand one first and then the left. So you go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that, right hand first. So I did that wrong. The next really cool thing about this um, board is that you can actually stream games as well. So right now there is a live game going and we can, let's see if I can find somebody that I, a name I recognize and I'm going to show you guys that you'll just stream the game which is pretty cool. Okay, I don't recognize any of these names so we're going to do... This game against Shankland Sam and Keimer Vinson and they're Prague International Masters. And so I'm going to just stream the game on my phone. Let's see how it goes. So we have an opening with C4. Then Black responds with E5 and you can see the whole game going. It's pretty cool. I personally like this feature because um, if you're playing a game as well online, you could stream your own chess game on here, which is pretty cool. And I think it's fun to kind of look at the board in real life, how people see it when you're playing against your friend. You see it like this. On chess.com, the view is different. So watching it like a real game as if you're there in person is pretty cool. Uh, and I really, I really enjoy it. So yeah, even when it takes, you can see how that works. And the pieces don't move, like obviously how a human would move the pieces because you obviously can't pick them up. So like the knight sometimes looks like it might be making an illegal move, but it never does. It just looks like it because it's going on weird squares on the board, like going around the pawn and things like that. So yeah, that's what it looks like playing that game. And now I'm going to just close this game because I don't think you guys need to sit through the whole thing. It's a really cool feature called start from a custom position and if you wanted to analyze a specific position or play against AI in a position that you want, you know you can set up the board to be that. So if you wanted to do like a windmill attack or the Dutch defense, something like that, you can actually set it up in on the board and then play the game from there. So you don't have to always start from the position and I think that's really cool and especially for learning can help you figure out like the best moves to make and things like that. So I think that aspect is really cool. I just wish that you were able to have it set up that position for you. One of my favorite things about this is that you can play against somebody all across the world and it'll play as if you guys were at a chess club playing in person and I think that is so cool because there's something so different about moving the pieces when they're in person versus online. And there's just something so unique about that. So I really love that this chessboard is giving people the ability to do that. So who should buy this? I think that if you're trying to improve your chess rating and you're above like a 1000 ELO, that this could be a really good purchase for that. I think you could really learn a lot, study openings and positions and really see them in in real life and the AI can teach you the best moves and things like that and make it feel like you're playing against a real person. So I would say for those people it's perfect but if you're just 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 starting chess this might not help you get a higher rating you might want to focus on just the basics before purchasing something like this. But if you're super into chess 
and super into tech and AI and things like that, then this is a great purchase for you. You can play chess on your own, you can improve your score, and then once you go back online and play against real people or go to a chess club in person, you're really going to feel like you learned a lot and you know more. And so I would highly recommend it for those people. So overall, I would give this board a very high rating and I think it's really cool and a fun way to like show it off to guests that you have over. But there's definitely still improvements to be made. AI isn't perfect yet. And things like setting up the chest position on its own or even recognizing where pieces are without having known where they ended at the end of the game and being able to just reset from a random position would be really cool. So things like that would be amazing to have. But overall, for like what you need in playing a game against AI without anything, it's amazing. It's super cool. And people have been trying to do stuff like this for centuries. So if this is something that piques your interest, then I would definitely recommend purchasing it for yourself or maybe another chess lover that you know. Thanks for watching the review and I hope you enjoyed.